So in this video we just want to go over the uh, basic operations with decimals and most folks are probably fairly familiar with working with decimals on a calculator but we want to make sure you know how to do it. So we're going to need to be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide with decimals and if you look at your calculator right down at the bottom row between the zero and your negative sign is your decimal point and that's what we're going to use to add a decimal to any number that we want to use in our calculator so if we look at this first sample problem it says 2.347 plus 13.28 and we basically enter it into the calculator exactly as it appears we could use our parentheses, it won't change our answer, but it's more efficient if we just drop those parentheses. So 2.347 and then plus 13 and then point two eight, And then we hit enter to get our answer. And it tells us that the answer is 15.627. All right, so let's clear our calculator with the clear button. And the next problem says negative 4.35 minus negative 0 0.072. So here the parentheses are kind of important because what it tells us is that this is a subtraction sign. But since this number is all by itself in parentheses with this sign here, this is what's telling us that it's a negative sign. So if it's in parentheses like this, we know it's a negative sign. Remember that with our calculator, if we want to put in a negative sign, we have to use the negative sign button at the bottom of our keypad. If we want to put in a subtraction operation, then we use the dark blue subtraction button. So we've got negative 4.35, and then minus, and then negative 0.35. 072 and then we hit enter to get our answer and it tells us that the answer is negative 4.278 once again we can just hit our clear button to get rid of that problem the next one is negative 36 divided by negative 0 0.12 now when we are dividing by a number that's less than one and this is you know, if we read this negative 0 0.12, uh, another way of saying it is that this is negative 12 hundredths. So 12 hundredths is less than a whole. So we're dividing by a number that's less than a whole. And so our answer we expect to be larger than 36. So let's just see what we get. So this is negative 36 divided by negative 0 0.12 and then we hit enter and it gives us the answer positive 300 remember it turned out positive because if we take a negative divided by a negative we get a positive answer so we go ahead and hit our clear button again and the last problem that we want to do is just a multiplication problem now notice that there are two symbols here we've got our multiplication operator and then we've got the number inside parentheses the parentheses once again tell us that this is a negative sign but realistically this multiplication dot wasn't necessary because if the 6.24 was resting directly against this set of parentheses it tells us to multiply anyway but you'll see it written both ways so it's good to get used to it so we say 6.24 times negative 9.24 3, 2, and hit enter. And our answer is negative 58.1568. Now, a couple ways just to check with your calculator to make sure that you got the right answer. This is a multiplication problem, so we know that there should be the same number of decimal digits in our answer as there were decimal digits in our factors. And if we count them, there's one, two decimal digits here, and then three, four. So four total decimal digits in our factors, and there was one, two, three, four total decimal digits in our answer. And the only time this won't occur is if the last digits are zeros, then the calculator will automatically drop those. But it's a good check most of the time. The other thing is to just say, well, six times nine is 54. 
And so this answer was you know, numerically pretty close to 54. So chances are we, we entered it correctly. And that's it.